Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little different. Normally we go live on Facebook and record that and then play it here on YouTube, but our internet is just horrible. I think with all of the kids out of school doing their schoolwork, around here is like using all the available data. So we are just gonna solely upload it onto YouTube. So, yay! <laughs> I know you're probably wondering, well, what are you doing? Well, <laughs> um, back story, I think it was like Thanksgiving time. Michael's had the super cute baked pie sign and I wanted it. Well, I never got it. And I was doing Pinterest searching like everyone else and I saw that sign. I can bake that. I had an old frame that I had like just sitting in my closet and I took the glass out I ended up having to take most of the clips out too. That was the only way to get the glass out. So unfortunately. Yeah. They have Shelby's here too. Oh, yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> she came to help me with the live, but we're just recording. That's okay. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. And so I just removed those little tabs using some needle nose pliers very gently so you don't break your glass. And I also took off the sawtooth hanger because it's just going to sit on my counter in my kitchen. Oh, okay. So that yeah, you need that. that. Yeah, so now I have my pieces. And then my husband made this for me because he knows PowerPoint and it was really the only program I had that would curve text on my computer. <laughs> so he did that for me and I'm going to try and sharpie it. I'm going to lay it underneath my piece of glass and then trace and hopefully, hopefully that, that will work. Yeah. Do you think we can, do you still have that file on your computer? Yes. Maybe we can um, make a blog post and oh. upload it. And then people can download this yes. and, and then you can make your own. It. Yeah. It's um, obviously it's printed on an eight and a half by 11 landscape, but you can like center it, which we will get into in just a little bit and just lay it over. And this is an 8 by 10. Oh, okay. So it should work. Um, <laughs> it should work. If you want it bigger or smaller, that might be an issue. I'm not sure how that might work if you could go in and size it yourself. But we'll have to work that we'll, out. We'll figure that out. We should have discussed that before we yes. recorded. Yes, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Just uh -oh. an idea. Well, anyway, my frame, I'm going to paint it white. And it's very glossy, so I've already kind of went over with some Scotch Guard, Scotch Brights. Whatever that and, is. Yes. It's very, very fine sandpaper. And I just kind of went over it. Just to kind of smooth out that shine because you want your paint to stick. Oh yeah, give it something to stink it. Some up. tooth, yes. Yes. I'm just gonna wipe it down, make sure we get all of that dust off. And you all would already know that if you watched our sanding video. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to kind of clean up my little area here too. All right, we're going to paint this, like I said, white. And I am using the Deco Art Chalky Finish from Hobby Lobby. And they color, they call it everlasting, but it's, it's white. white. Yes. <laughs> and mine is actually getting a little thick. Oh, interesting. I mean, that's good and bad, right? Yeah. I don't know. It means it doesn't take as many coats, but I think I need to add some water to it. And I am just going to brush it on. Yeah, don't have to be perfect here. No. In fact, you, you want that rustic look, right? Yes. <laughs> I will be distressing it a little bit. And this does dry fairly quickly, too. Yes, it's kind of impressive. I don't, I'm sure all of you have used it before, like chalk paint. Yes. But it's it's very fun. It's very satisfying to get through a coat and be like, all right. Start back over again let's, almost immediately. Yeah, yeah, let's keep going. You don't have to wait and then potentially lose steam, because that's what happens to me with other projects. If I have to wait a day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I've lost my motivation. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Well, because usually, it creates a mess and then yeah. you have to put your mess away and then sometimes you don't want to bring it back out. Exactly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the struggle is real. 
But right now, all I've been doing is cleaning my house. So yes. I might as well make a mess so I have something, something to clean. Something to clean. <laughs> True. Who's wow. been cleaning their house? What a problem to have. Jeez. Uh, I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend and Easter. Easter, yeah. It was it, quiet. It was quiet here. <laughs> yeah, snowy. Yes, it was. I don't know about this weather. I mean, I know it's normal for Wyoming to get snow in the spring, but it seems like every three days, mm -hmm. like for the last eight months, mm -hmm. we've had <laughs> snow every three days. Those of you who live in Casper that watch our videos know exactly you know. the struggle we've been in. Yes. <laughs> We're all in it together, right? And I know it moves eastward, and let me tell you, I would rather have snow than tornado oh, weather. Yes, oh my gosh. So my heart goes out to you guys in gosh. that part of the country that experiences that. Especially right now, it's not like you can go anywhere, you know, I don't know if that's a thing where like, oh, up here for example, people like to go on vacation in January and February because it's always cold and snowy. Yes. I don't know if people go on vacations to, to miss tornadoes, but you <laughs> definitely know. can't right now, even if that is a thing. I know. Definitely just hopefully everyone is safe and okay. And, um, I know a lot of communities are definitely coming together because of everything in the world right now, and that's you know, sad that it's taking something like this to make it more normal, I guess, but really ex exciting and I'm proud to see like our little community coming together. Yes, uh, there's been lots of helping neighbors uh, and... Howling! <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Have I think you heard it's, any out here yet? Um, I haven't personally heard. You're not howling, Mom? I'm not howling. <laughs> But I know one street over, which out here in the country is kind of a long way. Yeah. <laughs> but one street over, they were on Chameleon. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I did hear about that. But we have not personally gone out to Howell. I think it's fun. You know, if we had little children, we oh, probably yeah. would yeah. participate in that. We'd want to go find the teddy bears in the windows. And yeah. It, it's just awesome to see all these parents and grandparents playing with their children. Yeah. And, the board games coming out, I think it's great. All the baking, the, especially oh, right now. Yes. Easter baking is one of my favorites. Uh, two of my favorite foods are chocolate and eggs. So, <laughs> I know. And chocolate eggs. Chocolate eggs. <laughs> so I love Easter because I can eat like a whole dozen deviled eggs to myself, to be totally honest. <laughs> you love the Easter food. Oh my gosh, so good. Uh, I'm so sad though. I have a recipe I want to make. But I'm going to have to wait because I don't have all the ingredients. And one of my favorite, favorite cooks, bakers, I don't know, chef, Ooh. I don't know what I want to call them. Preppy Kitchen? Preppy Kitchen. Have you seen his hot cross bun recipe? No. Oh, mom. You guys should go, if you are into baking, cooking, all that fun stuff, follow Preppy Kitchen. He's amazing. He's on YouTube too. Yes. Um, YouTube and Instagram. Instagram. I don't know about anything else, but oh my gosh. He, he is so cute, first off. Um, and he's got the cutest little twins, and he makes the most mouth-watering, delicious looking food. They are beautiful works of beautiful, art. Beautiful. Yes. Love him. And I've made a few of his recipes. They're not as pretty as his, but that's okay. I just need to practice more, right? <laughs> that's right. I have no problems with wanting to make more of his recipes. And his hot cross bun recipe is at the top of my list, but I don't have yeast. I don't have raisins. And we can't find yeast. No, I couldn't, I was telling mom earlier, I couldn't find baking powder. And you then can't find flour? I couldn't find baking soda to make baking powder, so I'm making do with what I have, which is totally fine and what I should be doing. <laughs> but I'm almost out of baking soda, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna have to be very careful with this baking powder mixture I made because there's not much left. All right, how's it going up there? It's going pretty good. I've got two coats on that now. Oh, so look how fast that was. Yes. Yeah. It's not like completely dry, but I'm, I'm debating on whether to do a third, even though I'm going to kind of distress it. Mm. 
so, you know, decisions to be made here quickly. Well, if you do a third, it's not going to matter much, right? Like, No, and you can kind of see some of the dark through it. But I'm going to distress it and probably put black on it anyway. So this is definitely up to your preference on how you want it to look. <sighs> Goodness, guys, I don't know. Let me try a little bit more. <laughs> you know, crafting, it's a process. Yes. Oh, well, don't worry. I'll make them happy and ramble while you <laughs> I know. I'll try to make sure I shut up before we miss anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right now I am just painting this frame using the Hobby Lobby chalk paints. And my brush is actually a Country Chic brand brush. And it's a really good brush for chalk paint specifically. It was a little pricey. But yeah, but good tools are. Yes. And you won't have to replace that nearly as fast. No, it'll last me a really long time. And it's already done a lot of work. <laughs> it holds a lot of paint and it goes on nice and smooth. So I really, really love it. And it's comfortable. Yes. Which Shoot. is important. Yeah, when you're painting a lot. <laughs> so I did like a light dirt coat and I think I like that. Perfect. Good job. Yeah. I'm going to set that aside. And I'm probably going to flip over my <laughs> plastic. Let's see. And you need more plastic over I there. Do. I think it'll be fine. Laminate cleans up really nicely. Just saying. <laughs> From experience. <laughs> yes. Let's see. What can we do here? Um, oh, there you go. Yeah. Perfect. I mean, I don't really need it for what I'm doing. I don't think, but it might be easier to see. Oh, true. Other than your texture. Yeah. All right, here's the fun part. Yeah, I think I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and clean my glass. This, this is the part I'm most nervous about. I've never done this before, so. And definitely you could do this with Cricut too, if you have a Cricut. Yes. Which we do. <laughs> Which we do, but I had nothing installed. I've never used it because it's Shelby's. And I wasn't sure how long it would take me to learn. So. Yeah, because the last couple, well, I think you guys have only seen us do one Cricut craft technically. But because it was on my computer, I had it all set up. So there wasn't much to to do at that point. And yeah. I might have even done that one. You did. Okay, I think that's you did. why. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, why do I feel like I did it? Oh yeah, because I did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to put my paper underneath my glass and try to center that as best I can without actually getting too technical. I was about to say, you don't have the ruler. And no, and you could definitely <laughs> do that. But, you know, you know, I like that you, rustic look. You should do. What? I don't know if it's something I can grab real fast, but put masking tape down so that your stuff doesn't move. Uh, yeah, I guess on this, I thought of that. Um, do you want me to grab it? I can pause. We're, this isn't live. That's true. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Okay, I got the tape. We're going to just tape it to the plastic because the paper's a little bit bigger than my glass, but I do want it centered. And just eyeballing it. And then that way, just in case you bump it or something. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how well this is going to work because it's just taped to a plastic bag. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> we'll let you know, guys. <laughs> You'll see first to end. If this was a good idea or not. Yeah, then you'll know. I'm going to try to be good, but, you know. Let me go over this one more time. This just makes sure, like, all the grease and fingerprints and paint or whatever comes off. Yes. What a nice, clean surface. Yes. And then I gathered all my Sharpies because I don't even know what is good or bad. <laughs> <I> <laughs> know. 
you just need to buy only pack of Sharpies from there. I think so. Well, I know Sharpie also makes like a paint marker. Yeah. Those would be really cool to have. I have heard that you need like a learning curve with those because if you press down really hard, uh, it will flood. Yes. yes. I have I have worked with those. Okay. Before. Yes. Here we go. Okay, good luck. Deep breaths. Wish me luck. Here, I can zoom in, guys. Oh, yay. This is where I get quiet when the brain works. Well, if you think this is working, what I can do is we can do a time lapse of you doing all the letters. Okay. Especially, you know, I want you to take your time. Right. And then you won't have to like super think about it. Okay. Making sure we're in a tape. And then you don't have to hear me ramble. It's a win-win. There we go. <laughs> Except I have to listen to you ramble. Well, I'll still be rambling. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're used to it. Oh, I know. <laughs> you know, it's just Shelby. <laughs> you guys, we couldn't take her anywhere as a little girl. Oh, goodness. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> she never met a stranger, and she talked everybody's ear off. So, <sighs> yeah. It's only changed a little bit now that I'm an adult. Just a little. I do meet strangers that I don't want to talk to, but if you get to know me, or if I've had enough sugar slash coffee, which I've had both this morning, yes. um, I am very talkative. She was a talkative little girl. Let's just put it that yeah. way. Well, I think... Um, you think that's working? Yeah, I don't want to check it. <laughs> yep. Because it's all taped down. So we're just going to roll with it and continue on. All right, I'm going to put the time lapse here. The moment of truth may have to go back over this with some black paint because it was hard to tell what I hit or what I missed so I definitely need to move the paper and see how well <laughs> I did yeah I guess maybe we could print <clears throat> print it in gray that way you can kind of see <laughs> what you put over in black yeah <laughs> okay let's see how bad <laughs> hey, actually, not bad at all. I kind of like it missing some. Yeah, actually, it's kind of cute. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, you, it's I a mean, glass. you can't see. I'll have to do a close up um, because of the lights, too. Oops, with the glare. Oh, yeah, <laughs> make it the. Make it go the right way. That's not terrible. Yeah, look see at that, that, guys. Yeah, it's cute. Because I wasn't sure if I was going to have to repaint it. 
you know, with like a teeny tiny brush and just hit some of the spots, but that's kind of cute. I like it. I think you did a good job. Oh, thank you. And it worked. It did. <laughs> I did that. Now I know that Sharpie does come off glass, but usually you have to take like a rubbing alcohol or yeah. a WD-40 or something like that. So I'm hoping that It'll this... Be fine. <laughs> yeah, and you know, I can always redo it later if I wanted to. If I change what I wanted to say, I could even change this out for like different holidays. Yeah. Christmas time. Or and what? if we found a cute paper, we could put behind it. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, it's time to go looking in the craft stash, yes, right? which you did get those, uh, those scrapbook yes. paper packs at Michael's. Yes, we did. And I actually meant to use some of the Easter ones, and I did not. Oh, no. I know. Well, next year. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> we, uh, we're a little distracted this year. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm I'm gonna hit this with a sanding sponge and see what I can take off. So I'm just kind of rubbing it around on this detail. And you can kind of see some of that showing up. I wasn't sure if I wanted to distress it with actual paint or if we were going to just do this. Gotcha. And I don't want it like too terrible anyway. Just enough to accentuate some of the, like the corners. Give it a little worn look. Yeah. Make it rusted. Well, you know, that's <laughs> what I love. Oh, we know. <laughs> 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 I know you guys are the same way, so it's true. Who knew there were so many people just like you out there, Mom? You know, I was just telling Dad that the other day. Really? <laughs> you know, I do a lot of questions on yes. Facebook, yes. and a lot of the answers were like, "Oh yeah, that's same. me." Yeah. That's me. <laughs> So, so it's funny. funny how we all kind of flock together. Yep. <laughs> That's good though. It's good yes. to have a community of people who, if you're sharing ideas, you know, if someone has another idea to go along with it, you know you're in like the same thought process yeah. to get it. Yes, I love that idea. And if I'm doing it, you probably have the same stuff at home yeah. where you can do the same thing. <laughs> so. <laughs> It's kind of hilarious. It, it kind of is. It's like, you know, there, who would have thought there were more like me out there? <laughs> I didn't know. Until so we're finding this. this. <laughs> we're finding all of this. Awesome. Especially because we're kind of introverts anyway, so it's so fun to be like, oh, our little internet community friends. Yes. <laughs> and then you feel like, we are all a friends so and we all we know are. each other. Yeah. Uh, it's great. So that it's not too much. No, it's way better than it was before, like the brown. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is way prettier. Yes, it is. All right, I'm gonna call that good. Now you could like put some clear wax. Since this is actually in my kitchen. When it's not snowy and cold outside, I'm probably gonna take it apart and then spray some polycrylic uh -huh. on it. That way I can clean it a little bit better. But it's a little too cold. I think our feels like was below zero today. Yeah. And that's not gonna happen. No. <laughs> it's just too cold to spray paint anything right now. So I'm just gonna put it together and then at a later date, go back and put Do some that. sealer on this. Yes. Sweet. If you were just going to put it in like a living room, someplace where it didn't get too messed up, you could probably just leave it. Okay. All right. Now, the moment of truth. Yes. I'm just putting the glass in there. That's all there is to do it. And I probably should clean the other side. <laughs> Maybe. It adds to the rusticness, right? That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, hot glue, because I had to take all of those little tabs out. I'm gonna put a couple of hot glue dots in the corners. Oh, yeah. So I will probably either break the hot glue seal when I go to seal this, or just tape it off. Oh, okay. 
And then I have two tabs on this side that I'm just going to try to bend over. Oh, so you did. I left, yeah, I left two. I just couldn't get it out of the frame, so I had to really... <laughs> we had to destroy, destroy the, frame. the frame. Thankfully, it was just a whatever frame in your closet. Yeah, you know, I think it was from like a 90s home interior <laughs> or something. And I really like the detail on it. Yeah, it's cute. Oh, look at that. So we'll have to stage it and put like a picture up. Yeah. In it. Well, actually, maybe we'll stage it and I'll get some video of it. That'd and be great. We'll put that here at, at the end. Perfect. All great. right. Let's go do that. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help so much. And if you are new, I hope you would consider subscribing because I do lots of these kind of projects. So you guys go, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.